There were a range of emotions from tears to laughter as Jessica Watson said her goodbyes to family and friends. If all goes according to plan, the next time she sees them, or even steps foot on dry land, will be eight months from now. A small flotilla of well-wishers accompanied her to the official start line. But though everyone here applauds her determination and no one questions her courage, some do wonder if she has the experience to undertake such a risky adventure. Last month, on the first night of a test voyage, she snapped her mast when her distinctive pink yacht crashed into a huge cargo vessel. The teenager was forced to limp back to port. An official report by maritime safety investigators found that she'd fallen asleep without activating a crash warning device, and they were unimpressed with how she'd planned her epic journey. But the schoolgirl and her parents have ignored calls for her to give up. I'm only standing here and, uh, because I feel confident and a lot of uh, experienced people feel confident in me. So it's, I don't know, it's take one step at a time and, yeah, feel confident the whole way. Fellow solo around the world sailor Tony Bullimore, who 12 years ago had to be rescued by the Australian Navy after his yacht capsized in rough seas, knows all about the dangers she'll face. She's got, got to be up against uh, all sorts of uh, sea conditions. She's got to have uh, a good knowledge of sailing, uh, boat handling, uh, uh, meteorology, you know, weather routing, uh, uh, boat repairs, uh, uh, and, you know, apart from the physical side of it, uh, she's got to have a good uh, a mental uh, attitude. Even if she has to put into port for repairs, she can continue her journey and still break the record for the youngest ever round the world sailor. But she hopes to go it alone all the way. If she's successful, she'll prove her critics wrong. If not, she could be putting her young life at risk.